Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, all of you are doing well out there. I'm, of course, your host, Drodal Splits, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Tier 8 Russian Premium Heavy Tank, the IS-5, otherwise known as the Object 730 in World of Tanks Blitz. Now, this is a vehicle that I've always really liked. It's got good frontal armor, decent mobility, going 42 kilometers per hour forward, 14 in reverse. It's got good power-to-weight ratio, able to chug along, getting up to its top speed, and as well carries a really solid gun, packing a 400 damage punch with its it's 122 millimeter. Overall, the IS-5 is really a solid vehicle, and the fact that you're able to get your hands on it for the price tag of $5 worth of gold, in my opinion, is one of the best deals you could possibly get out there. This is a premium tank, earns good credits, will not be nerfed, and it really does a fantastic job of winning games. So, I figured, you know what? In today's video, let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's talk about this vehicle, do a full down review, because, of course, new people are getting this vehicle every day that are finishing their tier 10 level access of crew, and and as well, uh, when you get into a clan that has level 10 access, you're able to get your hands on this vehicle. So I figured, you know what? In today's video, let's do a full review of this tank, letting you know the good things, the bad things, and everything else in between. So of course, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below as it helps set the channel a crazy, crazy amount. Now, some of the other good things about the IS-5 are the penetration values. Some of the tier 8s, as we know, struggle with pen, especially the tech tree ones like the T-32, which is quite an old vehicle, only has 190. 98 standard pen. Yeah, it struggles quite a bit, but the IS-5 is sitting at 200, and I think, let me double check, oh, I guess not. I'm pretty sure it's 232 millimeters, or 226 if you are running Cali, which of course I am, which I would definitely suggest, and the heat shells go up to 297 millimeters. That's meaning that I can penetrate through an mil ones turret easily, something that's really, really nice. The turret armor on this vehicle, while it does have a cupola on the roof, is as well very, very strong, because of course it's got that Russian rounded design, and my opinion this is one of the strongest turrets tier for tier in the game and as well the frontal armor is very thick if you're able to use the five degrees of gun depression effectively and you're angling it up like this that upper plate becomes really really sturdy so the is5 is really a strong vehicle it's got decent amounts of damage per minute i really love the look of it as well let me know in the comments down below but i personally feel the is5 is one of the most streamlined nice looking vehicles it's symmetrical it's got that beautiful russian hull i really think that it is a uh, it's just a great looking tank so we could try and get a shot into the Emil. I don't really have the gun depression to work this position 100%, uh, but you know what? That's uh, A-OK, -okay, I guess. We got the Ag Panther all the way in the back. Let's aim it on him. If that hits, no, it did not. I did not think that it would hit in the first place, so, you know, go figure, but we'll see what we can do here. So we got the Emil one off to the side, who I can't really do much to yet. Um, I would love to overmatch his turret armor, but the issue is working the gun depression where I'm currently sitting is quite tricky. So there we go. We got the Emil one showing me his turret, and of course, as I said, I'm able to penetrate through his armor, which we did just then. So nice shell going into him. We got the rev as well stopping the Emil from pushing on me, so we're able to reload once again and hopefully get another shell into his turret armor. Aiming, 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 and fire. There you go. Another nice shot. Now we did get tapped right in the upper plate, as you can see, by the Yag Panther too, but still, we have stopped a pretty aggressive push from the Emil there, which of course is going to help out my Rev in return, and I'm going to try and help out my IS-2SH off to the side here against the Object 252, the T-28 Defender, so we're going to see if we can do a decent job here helping out my teammates, so let's aim in at fire, nice shot there, so big ol' shells coming out, let's knock down this tree, maybe it'll give us a little bit better camo, or just good luck, so actually it is giving us camo, I'll give it credit, we are not detected currently from the T-34, uh, so we might be able to get a nice shell right into the side of him, there you go, nice max roll as well for 500 damages, and there goes the T-34. So already, we've picked up 1,500 damage. Not the most, but, you know, we've uh, we've done some damages so far. And hopefully, we're going to be able to continue to rack out those damage numbers here. I'm not sure if the, uh, the Object 252 is sitting around this corner. Uh, actually, we might be able to just finish you off with a nice little slap of the HE key. And let's see if we can push up here and deal with the object. Ooh, that's not an Object 252 now, is it? That is an AMX 5100 who, in just a couple seconds here, we will have a shell out and ready for And Let's get a nice little tap right into his frontal armor. Of course, having nice alpha is great because that means that I can trade shells uh, like the AMX 5100. Hopefully our IS-2, no, we did not get the shell out. But we got the AMX 50 off to the side here as well, who we can aim in an HE right on the back corner. And there you go, finishing him off. So we got the Object 252 right in front, which of course is another extremely 
really strong Russian heavy tank. In fact, I will say that it is definitely a better tank than mine, but it is not, uh, you know, this tank is not out of the competition. You can see, now I'm rushing the 252. 2600 damage pulled up on our name here. We've done a decent job as it is, and of course, because we have less alpha, we do out-reload him, but, uh, well, I guess it's not going to matter too much in this game in particular because, uh, well, we've already smashed him to pieces. So, yeah, there's not much I can really do right now. I'm kind of stuck uh, in this position. So let's now use the mobility. Maybe able to get in the position. I saw our RHM uh, lose a lot of health. So, oof. Looks like that RHM on our team is... Or the enemy team. Let me fix it. I'm getting all discombobulated. Looks like the enemy RHM is about to lose a big chunk of his HP. And there you go. The Rev finishing him off. But we still did a good job. We did 2,600 damage in this game. Helped our team win. We dealt with both flanks. Able to penetrate the ML's turret, as I did say. Now, of course, that's only possible if you are running calibrated. I think it goes to 297 if you are. And as you can see, 297 and the pre and the standard. I also I think I did get right at 232. It's always a it's always a bit of a question what the penetration values are because they're always different for like the object 252, 236. Every tank is kind of different on their own. But overall, the gun is good. You can see that if you let it aim in, it hits its shots. While it's got terrible dispersion, the thing about the IS-5 is it's meant to be a front line vehicle. You use the side armor. You use the at least decent gun depression of five degrees to get angles and get a bunch of troll bounces and as you can see that front very well sloped so it does get occasionally bounced but of course let's load into one more game here see if we can keep up that good luck or we're gonna fall apart very very quickly hopefully we fight a tier 8 team once again and not tier 9s because as you know tier 9s are not the most fun to fight so yeah the is 5 as i was saying is good it's got the good side armor in fact the side armor i didn't even get started on yet it's kind of like an is8 side i think that's actually what it's kind of like centered on if you ever to take a look at the design of the tank in fact if we take a quick look you'll notice that it's very similar to the is8 design design the back of it how the uh the side armor really is it's very very similar and that's why the is5 in my opinion has got such troll sides as you can see it's very similar in fact shooting an is5 in the side with like a t49 is one of the hardest things to do in the game and that's of course because of the thick spaced armor it's got the really good armor i think i'd say it's about 200 millimeters on the side which is good that means that you really have to aim good now of course you can go in between the track casing which is maybe about 150 130 not super hard to penetrate that but in general it's got very impressive armor kind of of like an IS-7 brought down two tiers, you know, equated for the uh, differences. I think it's very well balanced. It's always been a strong vehicle in my opinion, and as you saw last game, if you know how to play correctly, it really does do the trick. Now, this used to be the most played tank in Blitz, and in fact, it is, in my opinion, the hardest vehicle to ace in the game. It took me a 5,600 damage carry to ace this vehicle. It was one of the hardest aces I've ever managed to pull out, and I'm definitely happy I managed to do it, of course. It was really, really tricky tricky and um it's my only ace on the vehicle out of 300 and like 60 70 games it is the only ace i was ever able to pull out which i i'm happy about of course but uh it, it's an extremely hard tank to play um especially acing wise so we're gonna see what we can do here we got the tiger 2 the t5042 shark two very strong tier 8 heavy tanks and again you can see that the good mobility on this vehicle able to rush right up to top speed here and with that we should hopefully be able to fight what is the shark and the enemy team uh, doing whatever he's doing we've also got like the is2 so let's uh let's aim in here oh is2 not running the top gun it looks like although a bit of an issue because the shark on the enemy team well i'm not really sure what he's doing to be fair and we're gonna aim right in on that cupola yeah nice little snap there as i said while the gun's dispersion isn't great dispersion only matters in my personal opinion really at distance oh that's actually not good we're gonna move up here i don't think he should be able to pen me uh but of course i don't want to be shot in the side by medium tanks so let's aim in on this uh shark once again aiming 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 and fire there you go another nice tap into the shark's cupola so we've already gotten a decent amount of damage out here hopefully the uh well, I'm not really sure what's going on, to be fair. And let's aim in at this J-Panther. I don't really know what he's doing, uh, but let's just aim in. And there you go. Nice tap into the J-Panther. Again, that super solid turret armor, as you can see, just shrugging off shells like no problem whatsoever. And now we're going to start aiming in on this uh, shark once again here. Maybe getting a nice tap into his cupola once again. There you go. That is our third tap in a row on his cupola. Now, I will say, this shark, he's... Uh, 
Yeah, he's still learning the cusps of Blitz. He doesn't really necessarily know the best things, but we're doing a good job. So let's aim in an HE on his turret, and boom, finishing him off. So what do we have next? We got the 49, the Tiger 2. Now, I'm actually very surprised the Tiger 2 did not push over to the side of the map, judging that, you know, it's kind of the main job of a Tiger 2 is to be a heavy tank. But, uh, well, sometimes enemy teams manage to surprise me how smart they are. So let's see, is the Tiger on this side? No, he's not. So I guess we're going to push in, and you can see where the terrible dispersion values come in play is on move it's bad like it is uh you don't even want to talk about how bad the dispersion is on the movement but at the same time it's not terrible uh to a point where you can't use it so let's see we got the 49 right here and oh that was a beautiful snap you don't expect shells to go in like that but uh Oh boy, did that one go in. I'm very happy that that one did. So let's back up here. I want to, uh, you know, not get hit by every tank on the enemy team. So let's back up quick enough. And uh, there, of course, you can see that fantastic penetration once again on the heat shells, able to uh, pretty much make the Tiger 2's armor look like butter. We've already done a decent job helping out our team so far. I have a feeling the 49 is going to try and flank our sides. But, uh, well, there he is, in fact. But I'm not super worried as it is. If that 49 tries to, like, big brain me, I'm just going to aim it. And uh, kaboom, finishing off the T49. So already a good job from the IS-5 once again here. As you can see, the armor doing its trick. I don't think we're going to bounce this yet. The Tiger, of course, has got really, really good penetration values going for it. And let's aim it on his turret. Not really sure what he's doing, to be fair. But if we're able to face hug him like this, I think he's going to have a very, very tricky time trying to penetrate me with that super solid turret armor, as you saw. Well, I guess he just went... Uh, well, yeah, he had the shot on the hull, I guess. So let's aim it a shot right on his turret. Nice tap there. 400 damage, and that was a good damaging game. So we did get pens. Actually, it looks like that Tiger went through my mantlet. Never seen that happen before, but 3,625 damage is, of course, a very, very respectable amount for a tier 8 game, and that's why I love the IS-5. It's good gun, good armor. It's got really a lot of things going for it, and it's one of the best buys you can ever get. $5 for a tier 8, 100% buy. If you are wondering to get it, I would definitely suggest to. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But other than that, hopefully all of you are doing well out there. Stay happy, stay healthy, to be seeing you around in the next one.